I just finished watching uh, season one, episode one of the Orville. It's currently available for early preview on uh, the Xbox in the movie section. Hopefully, it should be available on uh, Fox.com as well as the Fox app. I don't know about PlayStation or anywhere else right now. But at least with Xbox, it's free. It was an extremely enjoyable show. It surprised me by how well it was done. Uh, I like Seth MacFarlane. I'm not his biggest fan, but uh, I have enjoyed him for many years, especially the early seasons of Family Guy. And it just blows away anything he's done in the past. I, I really think this uh, show has a good chance of succeeding. It's roughly an hour long, at least the premiere episode was. Hopefully future episodes will not be cut to half hour. Uh, it is a comedy, but uh, so you know, our comedies usually don't go over very well with networks. But I think cutting it down to half hour would be a uh, bad, bad mistake. I don't think it would really sustain well as a half hour sitcom. But uh, it, it's brilliant. It's uh, got a great cast. I'm not uh, someone that recognizes celebrity names, but the person that plays Professor Stein on Legends uh, has a cameo part as an admiral. I believe his wife on the show uh, played Bobby on uh, Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, they have someone that sounds like he's either Brent Springer or the guy that played uh, Tupac in Deep Space Nine. As an alien, sort of a cyborg type character. Uh, I don't want to give any spoilers away, but I will say the way they killed the, uh, destroyed the enemy vessel at the end of the episode, definitely the most brilliant way to ever destroy a spaceship. I don't think anyone will ever top that. So, uh, you know, Beth McFarlane, if you see this, very good luck with the show. I hope it goes for a long time. I'm just sorry it's not on Netflix, so I could binge watch it instead of waiting until May to see the last episode of the season. And uh, you know, if you like this video, please hit like, please subscribe, and if you're so generous enough, uh, 50-year-old gamer at patreon.com. Thank you.